You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have back with me John Hayes from the Edgar Park Neighborhood Association. Thank Welcome you, sir. Back, John. I appreciate you having me back. You're doing a lot of good, a lot of good things with your team, with the Edgar Park Neighborhood Association, with our good friend Gary Leonard, with the Campello Main Streets, with the mayor, with different city departments and stuff. You got two more good things coming up in October at James Edgar Park. Tell us about the first. Let's start with the first one. Well, the first one we're having a live concert with uh, a band called John the Conqueror. Mm -hmm. It's basically a blues to rock type of band. Uh, the lead singer is a, a lifelong Brocktonian, and his band is uh, phenomenal. They play all over the South Shore, and uh, they they really put on a great show. We're looking forward to it. We got some collaborations with um, some other um, music acts that are going to be coming in during that time to sit in with them. They're going to, you know, move in some different um, players, some different bands, and see what happens. But we're really looking forward to it because um, we've got, they've got a pretty good following, and um, we're just trying to promote as much business, you know, Brockton people as possible. Live music in a beautiful park, what could be better than that, right? That's what I'm thinking. 12 to 5 12 on to the 5. 8th, right? Correct. And that is right before Columbus Day weekend? That is correct. Okay. And then the other one is the end of the month. It's an autumn festival. That is correct. Tell us about that one. Now that that's just a this is more of a, a kid oriented um, um, event. We're going to have um, there's going to be so many activities. Um, we're going to have a pumpkin, you know, decorating. Then we're going to have a contest. We've got went out and got trophies. We've got. Um, We've got all kinds of uh, activity. Uh, there's going to be art events. There's going to be, um, like, the family center is going to come down. Louis LeBoy, which mm -hmm. I keep, I can't mention enough, comes down and does all the face painting. Um, we've she got was a, at the Camp Pillow Strut. Yes, she was. We just were at. We, uh, she's at everything. She volunteers for everything for us, and she's uh, quality, quality people, especially with the family center. Um, We've got All Rhymes. His name is Edson. Um, I'm just going to leave it at Edson. It's all, now All Elements. It's not only going to be a DJ, but he's going to do free photography. You're going to dress up. He's going to paint. Lose will paint you up, and then you get free photography pictures, mm -hmm. and you take them home with you that day. Mm -hmm. And um, he also did the back-to-school pictures. Did you? Yes, I saw yeah. that. And you got Dare there. You got Great there. I got Brockton Firefighters, um, Brewster. Mm -hmm. Ambulance company. Sure. Yes, um, of course we're sponsored by Stacy Adams mm -hmm. and the Campello um, Main Street Association, and um, the Brockton Neighborhood Improvement, which is uh, new. It's a website, but it's it's working out pretty good. Um, we're gonna have all kinds of raffle items, as always. You know, when you work with Jacob Tagger, the first thing you do is you get items, and he gives them away. You don't pay for anything. You, we're just giving everything away again. Free is good. Free is good. Free is good. Anything to um, keep the kids occupied, get them out there, give them a positive message. Now, tell us a little bit more about the Edgar Park Neighborhood Association. I know you have a Facebook. I know you have people that are involved as members. And you don't even necessarily yourself, I think, live in that area. Am I oh, right? I do. I, oh, live right do. I'm sorry. I live right across the street from Edgar. You know what? I got confused with Campello because yes. you're, you're, in, you're in Edgar. We're, you're on which Dover. Street? I'm on Dover, Dover okay. Street. So you think Just Dover Street, in front of the whole you're, city. You're Winthrop Street, okay. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. They, they'll find you if they want to find you. Don't, don't, it's on the don't same. worry about it. It's like me. I have my phone number up on Channel 12 because I'm on the school committee uh, for Southeastern. So my phone number's there. I'm, I couldn't hide if I wanted to hide. And you don't want to hide because you're doing a lot of good things. No, we like to get involved with as many things as possible. Um, right now, we uh, we just did the, you know, as you know, the Campello Strut slash um, Campello uh, Block Party, mm -hmm. and we were, got involved with that committee, and we're we're working with the Campello Main Street committee, and uh, we just finished South Street. Did you get a chance to look up and down the street? Oh yeah. We put in the hours there. We our volunteers were relentless, cleaning it up inspiring the neighbors to do the same. It's funny how you get one neighbor, you do one thing and then five neighbors to clean up their property. And Edgar, in specific, when I lived in that area and Mary Virginia Curtis lived on the corner, she took no prisoners. You cleaned that park, you <laughs> kept that park clean, there was no question. I'm, I was a member of the Brockton Rotary um, and we did the handicapped playground area over in, in, in the Edgar Park before the whole park was renovated. 
you got baseball fields there. It, it's it's metamorphosized over the years. I know Council Monahan, the mayor himself, people have been they care about that. It is one of the nicest parks in the city. It really is. Yeah. Well, um, like you mentioned, Thomas Monahan. I mean, he's been one of our biggest supporters. Different events that go on there. I could not believe this year alone, a non-election year, how many things are going on that is not city sponsored. Mm -hmm. We had an Ecuadorian. Um, what did they call it? Um, it was a. It was a. Um, I'm stuck. It, but uh, it drew 750 people. Well, if you look at and in, in we just there was a big festival here in Brockton, a Cowboy Up festival. There were no yes. incidents that happened over there. And, you know, this is a good city. Gets a lot of bad rap from sometimes people inside, sometimes people outside. Makes me angry when that happens. I like to fight, not literally fight people, but argue with people about it. It's a good place. It's always been a good. I grew up here. Someone asked me, would I teach a speech class, so we're all introducing ourselves in speech class, and one of the kids got stuck with me because there wasn't a partner. So <laughs> 50, 55 years old, 52 of them here, two at school, and one in Bridgewater. So pretty much been here my whole life. I grew up at Ash Street. I'm hoping someday there'll be an Ash Street organization because that park needs some serious help. It's funny that you say that. We're training the new Ash Street um, Park Association. There you go. They have a Ash Street Neighborhood Association is going to be up. They got 14 members. They just started off this week. They're starting with our volunteers to teach their volunteers on what's necessary to do. We'd probably be doing a cleanup this weekend at Ash Street, mm -hmm. and then um, they're going to be taking it slow. And they're going to, we're going to get them in with Gary. We're going to get them in with a few others, so to teach them how to do the paperwork, so they get their nonprofit status. And they get them up off the ground, you know? And I live over near Hancock Park, so I, I've been talking to Gary and Lynn about those, too, because sometimes my neighbors stay quiet and nobody... We know the neighbors around us, but not the greater neighborhood. I was talking Brockton Heights, which I've learned is a huge part of that part of the city. I'm trying to get the real history of it because I'm a history buff, but um, I think what you're doing is great. So let me just run down the dates for the viewers sure. again. We have two events in October sponsored by the Edgar Park Neighborhood Association with a lot of other sponsors, as we mentioned. There's a live concert on October 8th from 12 to 5 with John the Conqueror uh, at James Edgar Park. And on the 29th, there's an autumn festival, more of a kid-oriented event that will happen. What are the hours for that one? I don't They're both 12 to 5. 12 to 5. So uh, the... the the darkness is going to fall upon us a little earlier, so we got to keep it in the, right in the middle of the day. So, John, phone number, Facebook, website, real quick, if you have one. Um, yes, um, there's John the Conqueror on Facebook.com, and then there's uh, the Edgar Park Neighborhood Association, also on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. And the Instagram isn't up yet, but it's going to be. And then um, the Brockton Neighborhood Improvement. Okay. Okay, and of course, my it's seven seven four three eight one zero seven nine seven. Any volunteers? Uh, we're always looking for them and new vendors. Well, thanks for coming back. We'll keep people posted. We'll sample some of your events, but we're not going to record them all because if we record them all, they'll stay home and watch on TV. We want them there, right? That's right. Okay. Well, thanks for doing what you're doing. I appreciate it, sir, and I'm glad you had me back. Glad to have you back. We'll have you as a regular. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.